some first impressions of uh, the first season in your new job, I guess. Yeah, yeah, it's been uh, been a great start for me to come uh, come here to Wolves and to uh, come off the bench twice and obviously score has just been great for me. What, what did Mick say to you when he uh, when he sold the club to you in the first place? Um, well, I came here and had a look around and I think it pretty much sold itself to be fair. But um, he said, when you come in, I want you as one of four strikers. So that sold it to me really. So he was looking very much, I think, to the, the medium and long term, but you've made an immediate impact. Has that surprised you? Um, no, not really. I think I, uh, I wanted to come here and uh, just, as I said before, just take every chance I get. And I think coming off the bench as I have, uh, I've done that. Tell us about Saturday's game then. I mean, that, that was a tremendous result for the club. Yeah, definitely. It's a great uh, great result going to a big club like Charlton, who will also be uh, pushing towards the top, I think. And uh, for us to go there and get the three points was, was massive for us. Tell us about your first goal. Um, I can't really remember a lot about it. I think Wardy done tremendous for the cross and it's just, just missed Sill's head and managed to get in front of the defender and flick it in. So. And the second goal? Second, I think Kites came through and I just got the rebound off his shot, so I was happy it came to me. Just tell us a little bit about what it's like to not be an instant hero with the fans, but to have made such an immediate impact on them because they are absolutely fanatical about their club, aren't they? Oh yeah, they're great fans and I think it, it shows every away trip we've gone to so far we've taken uh, great support and for me to uh, come in like I have and to score a couple of goals is uh, obviously good. What targets have you set yourself? Um, just to try and be in and around the first team really and if uh, if I get my chance to uh, come off the bench or start then just to take that chance really. I just wonder as a young player like yourself coming into a club like this, how aware of you the the history and the tradition and the expectations that come with joining a big club like Wolves? Um, well, obviously, there's a lot of, uh, lot of expectation in the club because it's such a, such a big club. And uh, obviously, the history just stands for itself, really. And you come into a club like this and you just, just see the history. And I think, well, I think the team that started uh, the season so far are definitely living up to it. S stepping up in class as you, as you are now in, in the championship, what, what are your impressions of the, the standard of championship players that you're up against now week in, week out? Well, it's obviously a much higher level than I was uh, I was used to in the League One, but I think the uh, the standard that the boys have set themselves to start this season has obviously shows that we're up and around to battle for the top, really, and to uh, show that we can push on in this league. And playing as a striker as you do, with great support from uh, from Jarvis and Kitely down mm. both flanks. Yeah, they've been a tremendous, tremendous start to the season for both of them, really, and I think as a striker for me, and obviously Chris Sylvan. Keo, it's, it's great to have uh, great to have them on both flanks providing providing what you need really and hoping to uh, to continue it all again tomorrow night against Palace at home yeah yeah it's another big game for us we need to uh, go out like we did Saturday and as we did in the last game against Forest at home and just try and get another three points Mick every manager says uh, they want to get off to a fly they want a dream start gets the fans energised builds confidence you've got that dream start now haven't you and uh, you must be delighted by that we all are, yeah, of course we are, but uh, cautious with it. I think all the questions I've answered this morning in the press conference, I'm sure they're trying to make me look uh, a problem, miserable, dour old git, but I don't know. Does everybody want us to get carried away with it? Does everybody want us to be me to be dancing on this table with my drawers in the air or what? Because uh, it would appear that's that's the way, but we won't. We've got to keep a, a level head, clear head that we've only played five games, but... Great start, we're all pleased with it, but we've got Palace coming tomorrow night, so a difficult game for us. But you wouldn't be the Mick McCarthy that the fans latch onto here at this club if you weren't cautious. They would expect nothing less from you. Uh, well, certainly not cautious on the pitch, uh, not the way we play, that's never been the case. 4-4-2 four, four, with two flying wingers it's been all the time since I've been here, uh, and tried to win games and score goals. That's been the difference this year, we've, we've scored the goals. but. Uh, yeah, off the pitch. I'm I'm a realist, pragmatist. I don't I don't get carried away with things. And and all I know is that uh, Neil Warnock, who was a mate of mine, would be uh, he'd be delighted to pounce on any of that if we got carried away. So let's try and make sure we don't. How pleasantly surprised have you been by the immediate impact that Sam Vokes has made on the team? Uh, surprised? No, no. Delighted. But we knew he was a good player, and when we signed him, we knew he was a good player. And when I was asked if he was one for the future, 
I said, no, he'll be, he'll be in the squad. He came here to be in the squad, to be one of four strikers, not to go to anywhere else and then be loaned out. And, and that's what I promised him. And that's what's proved to be. And he's, he's improved since coming here. I'm sure the, the, the full cap for Wales has helped and scoring just gives you that bit more confidence and belief in yourself. But he's a good player and uh, so delighted, but not, not shocked and surprised because we knew from minute one, from seeing him, he could play. But did you have a timetable when you brought him in here as to think, well, he might be ready for the first team action and playing a part in this championship season maybe after Christmas? Or, or was this season always going to be a learning curve for him? Or did you expect from August he'd be, he'd be right at it from day one? No, they, they, you know, we've, I do bang on about our scouting system with, with Dave Bowman and now, of course, Taff, who is doing more scouting. Uh, we've got a really good system set and good people watching games. Uh, and, you know, having been tipped off about Sam and we'd watched him, we, we, we tried to sign him. Uh, my first viewing of him was, uh, I'd seen him on the TV a little bit, but, uh, you know, I took the advice of, of my scouts and I, I went to watch him in the 21 game against England, the last game of last season. And I knew then he could play. I knew then he could play in our first team because uh, despite his tender years at 18, he's, uh, he's a physical specimen, he's, he's a big guy. They tell me he's got the biggest boots here at the club and he's filling them at the moment right, isn't he? Well, I heard that story. Everybody's trying to put a tag on him at the minute. I mean, he came back with, I don't know, two or three nicknames from Wales, having things people had said about him. So he's a, he's a real lovely young fella he is and he's, uh, he's working hard to be one of the, you know, four strikers that can play here and he's done himself no harm. He's, he's scoring goals and playing well.